बिस्मिल्लाह रहमान रहीम वेलकम टू द कैंटर पब्लिशर वीडियो लेसन्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन डियर स्टूडेंट यू मस्ट हैव विद यू ग्रेड एट इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक विल स्टार्ट आवर लेसन फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर वन द फेयरवेल सरमन ऑफ हजरत मोहम्मद सल्लाम ऐसे लोज ऑफ दिस लेसन आर यूज अप्रोप्रिएट प्रोनाउन एंटीसेडेंट रिलेशनशिप एंड ट्रांसलेशन डिवाइस विद इन पैराग्राफ राइट अ कंपोजिशन ऑफ थ्री और मोर पैराग्राफ्स फॉलोइंग कन्वेंशन ऑफ ऐसे राइटिंग इंट्रोडक्टरी पैराग्राफ बॉडी पैराग्राफ एंड कंक्लूडिंग पैराग्राफ ऑल्सो रिकोगनाइज दैट इंट्रोडक्टरी पैराग्राफ कैरीज द मेन आइडिया ऑफ द ऐसे इच वन ऑफ द बॉडी पैराग्राफ डिवेलप्स द मेन आइडिया थ्रू कीज आइडियाज द कीज आइडियाज आर डिवेलप्स थ्रू सपोर्टिंग डिटेल The concluding paragraph contains a summary of the body paragraphs and a general concluding statement. Paragraphs are linked through various transitional devices. Now look at the page number eight in your textbook. We have a writing section here. See what it says: Conventions of essay writing. Conventions means ways. It tells you how to write an essay. it includes introductory paragraph body paragraphs and concluding paragraphs how to write an essay while writing a paragraph the following points must be kept in mind write in simple english avoiding unnecessary words and make it interesting avoiding unnecessary words mean the things which is not Im important no need to include it in an essay make it interesting how you can use adverbs and adjectives adverbs and adjectives are parts of speech which we discussed in our previous lesson 2 which modifies the verb and noun look at the second one here be careful of sentence structure and punctuation here the sentence structure means we have a simple sentence like sub which includes subject verb and object but if we have two sentences here we are going to join them we will join them by putting a conjunction between them we have discussed the conjunction conjunction is a part of speech that joins two sentences together how and therefore so because etc if you are joining the two simple sentences together you have to be careful about the structure you have to put the conjunction between them to make it proper grammatically proper or correct if you are writing in a simple sentence just write in a simple sentence but if you are writing long sentences you have to join the long sentences by adding conjunction between them and you also need to take care of punctuation punctuation includes comma full stops apostrophes exclamation mark hyphen let me draw the symbols for you comma full stop exclamation mark apostrophe and hyphen the punctuation is very important when you write an essay or any writing it is necessary for the grammar purpose i hope you know all the punctuation and learn about the punctuation in your previous classes too now look at this one be clear in your thoughts and do not over explain it means write to the point and be clear in your thoughts introductory paragraph carries the main idea of the essay each one of the body paragraphs develops the main idea through key ideas the key ideas are developed through supporting details The concluding paragraph contains a summary of the body paragraphs and a general concluding statement. Here we will discuss these three things separately. Look at the introductory paragraph. The introduction prepares the reader for what the rest of the essay will be about. 
it should both inform and capture his or her interest the introductory paragraph catches the interest of the readers it tells or inform the readers what they are reading about in the essay the main body part the part of a topic sentence that states the main idea of the body paragraph all of the sentences in the paragraph connected to it in main body part you write about the main things the main topic of the things and it should be consist of two or three paragraphs look at the conclusion your conclusion wrap up your essay review your supporting ideas your conclusion is no place to bring up new ideas in conclusion you cannot write about the new ideas or introduce new things connect back to the essay hook and relate your closing statement to the opening one you have to conclude your introduction and main body part in your conclusion no need to write about any new things or new ideas in your conclusion now look at this one paragraph are linked through various transitional devices we will discuss what are the transitional devices here transitional devices are like bridges between parts of your paper they are cues that helps the readers to interpret ideas a paper developed transitional devices are words or phrases that help carry a thought from one sentence to another from one idea to another or from one paragraph to another it means your sentences or your ideas or your paragraph should be related to one another look at the examples of transitional devices here also beside furthermore moreover likewise similarly however still nevertheless conversely nonetheless instead next then meanwhile finally subsequent etc these are the transitional devices which make the flow of your writing or your essay it makes the connection between the sentences or the paragraph and it stick to the main purpose or to the main idea now look at this one the first essay of this lesson use appropriate pronoun antecedent relationship and transitional devices within paragraph the antecedent pronouns are in english grammar an antecedent is a word that will be replaced by another word later in the sentence most often the word replacing the antecedent is a pronoun for example he she they her his ours their etc now if you look at the page number 4 in your unit number 1 you will find so many antecedent pronouns in this paragraph here his he again here his this one now look at the page number 8 in your textbook write a composition of three or more paragraphs following conventions of essay writing on character of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam using the mind map below we discuss the conventions of essay what the things we need to keep in mind when we write an essay let's discuss what is mind map mind map concept mapping is a method of organizing thought in a manner which allows them to follow clearly and logically the use of concept mind maps allows us to work more quickly and efficiently this we decide what general topic or title you will be writing about and design it in the center of a piece of paper how let me show it to you like this this is the main idea the main topic of the paragraph and these are the supporting ideas these all supporting ideas are connected to the main idea of this the character of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam just kind patience compassionate peaceful trustworthy honesty and merciful these all the character traits are connected to character of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this is a mind map technique we have written the main idea in the center and the supporting details here so we have discussed the conventions of essay what you need to do you have to write 
essay on the character of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by following the mind map technique. Okay, you need to keep in mind these things, these important points here and write your essay. You can also help from your textbook and from journal information you know about Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. स्टूडेंट्स आज हमने कन्वेंशंस ऑफ ऐसे को पढ़ा कि जब हमने ऐसे लिखना है तो किन कन्वेंशंस को अपने जहन में रखना है आपका ऐसे थ्री पार्ट्स में डिवाइड होगा इंट्रोडक्टरी पैराग्राफ बॉडी पैराग्राफ और कंक्लूडिंग पैराग्राफ इन चीजों को आपने जहन में रखें रखना है जब आप अपना ऐसे लिखें उसके बाद हमने इंट्रोडक्टरी पैराग्राफ मैन बॉडी पैराग्राफ कंक्लूजन को समझा उसके बाद हमने ट्रांजिशन डिवाइसिस को समझा के ट्रांजिशनल डिवाइसेस क्या होती हैं जो सेंटेंसेस फ्रेजेस को आपस में जोड़ती हैं और जो रिलेटेड होती हैं एक दूसरे से उसके बाद हमने एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ट्रांजिशनल डिवाइसेस को पढ़ा आपको इसके एग्जांपल अपने टेक्स्ट से भी मिल सकती हैं यूनिट नंबर वन के टेक्स्ट से उसके बाद हमने एंटीसीडेंट प्रोनाउंस के बारे में पढ़ा टेक्स्ट बुक के पेज नंबर फोर से आप बहुत सारी एंटीसीडेंट प्रोनाउन के एग्जाम्पल्स को अंडरलाइन कर सकते हैं ये आपका टास्क है राइटिंग टास्क आपने क्या करना है कि थ्री पैराग्राफ्स इंट्रोडक्टरी मेन बॉडी पैराग्राफ और कंक्लूजन थ्री पैराग्राफ्स हैं इस पर आपने हजरत मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के कैरेक्टर पर लिखना है इन मेन पॉइंट्स को जहन में रखते हुए जस्ट काइंड पेशेंस कंपेशनेट पीसफुल ट्रस्टवर्दी ऑनेस्ट एंड मर्सीफुल इसके आप बहुत सारे एग्जाम्पल अपने टैक्स से भी ले सकते हैं और जनरली भी आपको हजरत मोहम्मद सल्लाम के करेक्टर के बारे में जरूर मालूम होगी I hope dear students you have enjoyed my lesson thank you